Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com and in this video we are going to look at how to use the round function of Excel. Now you can round values in Excel simply by using the formatting buttons they provide. Uh, you can change the number of decimal places shown using these two buttons with the little blue arrows. You can also go into format cells and do a lot more than that. But all that does is change the presentation of the value. It doesn't actually change the value. So if that's what you want, you want one of Excel's rounding functions. And the good news is that Excel's got quite a lot of them. And number one in that list would be the round function. So that's what we're going to demonstrate here. I've got these, you know, assortment of values here. And if I start to type the round function into a cell, it tells me it will round a number to a specified number of digits. So let me continue with this. It will prompt me for the number. That's cell A2 for me right now. And if I put a comma, the number of digits. Now I can enter a positive or negative value here, or indeed type zero to round it to no decimals. So let's start by rounding it to a positive number here. Let's round it to two decimal places. So that indicates two places to the right of the decimal. So when I finish here, this 0.891 is going to be rounded down to 89. If the value is a 5 or higher, it will round up. If it's under 5, it will round down. So this one's rounding down there to 89 because it's a 1. Whereas the next one's going to round up to 0.22 because it's a 6. So when I do that, it rounds up to 22 and so on as I copy down. This is going up to 0.61 and then down to 0.41 as I round it to the second decimal place. Now I say I can round it to one decimal place or three decimal places. I could also type zero in there to have no decimal places. So if I press enter now, this 89 gets rounded up to uh, 52487. This will be rounded down because it's 0.21. This will be rounded up because it's 0.6. And this will be rounded down because it's 0.4. Now these values on the right, I can still use the buttons I mentioned earlier to present it in a better way and hide the decimal places if I don't want to see them. Let me copy that formula down first. That would make sense to tidy those up, keep it consistent. Uh, but all it does is change the presentation of it. Uh, these buttons at the top, that's all it does. So I still want them involved to present it how I want. But the important thing is that the round function, if you want it this way, is actually affecting that number. It's not just making it look like there's no decimals. It's actually taking them off and rounding it. Now, something a lot of people don't realize when they start using this round function is that you can also put negatives in the number of digits area. So if I was to type point, uh, sorry, minus two, and now looking at moving two places to the left of the decimal. So when I press enter, let me get rid of these so they don't confuse us. I have 52,500 as it rounds that up because of the 86. And as I copy this down, I've got 32, sorry, 3,200. So it's rounded it up because of the 93. This will round down. This will round up because of the 82. Let me copy that down. And here we go. So that is rounded to a minus 2 here. I can put minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. You know, it depends what size values you have. This will work for me. So rounding down to 52,000. Uh, because of the size of the number there. And these would also work here, rounding down to 3,000, up to 21,000, up to 9,000. So this round function, I say if it's a five or higher the number, rounds up, under five, rounds down, and we can round it to the left or the right of the decimal place. If you did want to always round up or always round down, 
then there are functions in Excel known as round up and round down and you may be interested in one of those instead. They look exactly the same as the round function. So if I chose round up for example, they ask for the number, they ask for how many digits, so I could also put minus three again and they will work in exactly the same way. So you see that this one, let's tidy that up, has actually rounded up. So despite it being at four, it has rounded it up anyways. Whereas round rounds down, that rounds up. These two numbers are not affected because they're rounding up uh, anyway, but these have been forced to. And there is a round down function as well. I hope you found that video useful. Please check out some of our other video tutorials on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergarga.com.